Studying is hard and it's boring. And we all try to find certain ways to avoid studying. And that's called procrastinating. We all procrastinate, right? We don't want to study because it's boring. And why is it boring? It's because we all imagine ourselves sitting in a room with a pen and a paper and just, you know, writing down things or counting or I don't know what for an hour, two hours. And it's very boring, at least in our minds. But how do we make it less boring? Now, mind you, these tips aren't going to be, you know, fun tips like, okay, eat a salad while studying because that doesn't work. I don't know if, it, if that works. It probably doesn't work. I'm going to give you solid advice that you could actually use uh, and implement today in, you know, to be able to study for longer periods of time, uh, long, longer periods of time and actually enjoy studying. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is to learn the basics, whatever it is that you may be doing. Okay, I like to, you know, stick to math while giving examples because uh, everyone can relate to math. So let's say you're doing, I don't know, calculus, okay? Instead of jumping into the hard problems, learn how to differentiate, learn how to integrate, you know, start with the basics. And then once you've mastered the basics, you could move on to the harder parts. Now, the second thing is that I want you to get a post-it uh, note uh, and just write all the problems that you face. Uh, and by problems, I mean, uh, let's say you're solving uh, a certain problem, okay? And you get stuck somewhere. Identify the thing that gets you stuck, okay? The thing that, you know, makes you struggle with this problem and write it down here, okay? And then you're going to have a list of problems. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to tackle these problems one at a time. You could use YouTube and try to find um, you know, answers to your questions on YouTube, or you could ask your teacher, uh, or you could try to uh, actually solve the problem yourself and find out what uh, that small thing that you're struggling with is and how you could solve it. Because once you solve it, and once you have this list, you could, and once it's in front of you, you could actually see what, you know, what your weak points are and, you know, how you could improve on them and what the solutions to the problems are. Uh, and this will help you, you know, just like incredibly, okay, this, this will change your life and it has changed my life too. Now, the third and most important thing, I want you to do hard problems, okay? Don't do easy problems because it's going to get super boring. The more you know something, the less you, the less time you need um, to study that thing. So let's say, again, let's go back to the math example. Let's say you're studying calculus, okay? And, you know, you, you've you learned the, the basics. After you've learned the basics of... Um, you know, uh, you know how to differentiate and integrate. Instead of just sitting and repeating them over and over again, move on to harder problems. Don't stick to these problems because you're not going to be able to study, f you know, for an hour straight and just solve basic integral problems. It is super boring and that will make you want to stop studying. So instead, Find problems that are hard, that will challenge you. Find problems that take 10, 15, 20 minutes to solve. I know it might seem a lot to you right now, but it's actually super fun. And, you know, especially once you start solving these problems, you, you know, you're going to find it enjoyable. Because it is enjoyable to spend 20 minutes on something, especially if it's complicated. And then being able to solve it, you're just going to get, you know, this sort of adrenal, adrenaline rush that will just, 
you know, it, it's hard to describe. You've probably felt it before. But the trick here is to, you know, I want you to make you feel this adrenaline rush every time you study. And this is why you need to study uh, hard things. Don't stick to the easy things. Go back to, 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 to tip number one. And tip number one was to master the basics. In the beginning, you master the basics because the, mas the basics are going to be the harder things. But once you master the basics, you can't stay on that level. You need to just move on, move on, stop staying on that basic elementary, elementary level, move on. And I promise you, if you follow these tips, you will most certainly find it more enjoyable to study and you'll get way more out of your studying sessions. And of course, you, you'll get uh, incredibly good, good grades as long as you follow these tips. So, you know, my part here is over. I've told you what you need to do. Now it's your job to do the work. I can't, I, you know, I can't do your work for you. So do the work and remember, stay strong and don't give up, okay? It, it'll pay off in the future, okay, in the long run.